Bethany Schaefer, and I'm here with the CEO of March of Dimes Canada, Andrea Spindle, who has an amazing past with this organization. She joined in 1981 with only a budget of $5 million and today has grown it to over $100 million. Andrea, just you must be so excited to be part of this event today. Absolutely, because not only are we a larger organization, but we have an American subsidiary, a nonprofit housing corporation subsidiary, and an Ontario division. So it's a large organization, and this is great. This is fabulous. We're thrilled to have you here, and as I recall, the March of Dimes originally started out for mothers seeking cures for their children who had polio, and it has now grown to such a huge organization doing so much more, as we just learned from Brett uh, Hart. You have the stroke recovery program, you have so much going on for so many individuals, not just children, but adults as well. You must be so proud. What are you hoping to see in 2012 for March of Dimes? Well, we do have many programs, and what we're hoping to see is expansion across Canada. We've been very Ontario-centric. We now have offices in Halifax, Vancouver, and Calgary, and Quebec City, and we're hoping to see growth across the country to serve more people with disabilities. That's fabulous. Are there any um, special measures that you have up in front of Parliament this year that you're hoping to get passed? Oh, what a great question. <laughs> yes, we actually have a very significant advocacy campaign. We're trying to get the uh, federal government uh, to work with the provinces to expand what it, we have in Ontario, which is the Home and Vehicle uh, Funding Program, to modify homes to make them accessible. After all, people have to age at home, and we're an aging population. So we really need to make it convenient and accessible. We're also hoping to see caregiver policies evolve for all those folks that take care of other people, which is in Canada, is about five million people who are caregivers, and there's really no social network to support them. And um, we're hoping to see the work that's uh, happened in Ontario to create accessible legislation, not unlike the American ADA, expand across the country. And so we're going to be working with all the provinces to do that. It's exciting and I'm hoping that people are paying attention to you and listening to the new changes that are coming about for March of Dimes in 2012 and in the coming years. I know this past year you celebrated your 60th anniversary. I'm hoping to watch that evolve and I'm sure many of us are. Uh, I read your blog and I'm sure lots of us have. It's inspiring. You should take a look if you have a chance. Uh, you said if people would just do more than their job, do more than the bare minimum, put their hearts into it. And it seems that you've done that, you've led by example, and we're hoping that people will donate, do the same thing here this weekend at the Canada California Business Council Celebrity Golf Classic, which we're all here to support. And I'm sure that you are more than overjoyed to be here. Absolutely. I'm thrilled. And thank you so much, Stephanie, for your own support for this event. It's terrific. And Palm Springs is a fabulous community, so we're delighted to be here and to be able to host something like this. We're thrilled to have you, Andrea. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you very much.